Hello students, welcome to third lecture of D and F block elements. In last lecture, we discussed table point eight point two, and we observe certain properties of first transition series, three D series. And now let's jump to their other details, as for example, first point ionization enthalpies. So there is an increase in ionization enthalpies along this each series of the transition elements from left to right due to an increase in nuclear charge, which accompanies the filling of inner d orbitals. Table eight point two gives the value of first three ionization enthalpies of the first series of transition element. So already these values are mentioned in previous table. We discussed it earlier. This value shows that the successive enthalpies of these elements do not increase as the steeply as in the case of non-transition elements. That means, in case of non-transition elements, difference will be comparatively large. But in this case, this difference is comparatively lowered. And simple reason we can say that these elements are metallic elements. So obviously, metallic elements have comparatively less attraction towards the electrons so they can release electrons easily on the other side p block elements are mostly uh, on the upper side especially they are non metallic and certain elements are semi metals so that's why they have comparatively more affinity towards the electron or attraction towards the electron the variation in ionization enthalpy along a series of transition element is much less in comparison to variation along a period of non transition element the first ionization enthalpies in general increases but the magnitude of the increase in the second and third ionization enthalpy for the successive element is much higher along a series the irregular trend in first ionization enthalpy of the metals of 3d series through the little chemical significance can be accounted for by considering that the removal of one electron alters the relative energies of 4s and 3d orbitals you have learned that when d block elements forms ion n s electrons are lost before n minus 1 d electron that means if we arrange the electron then first we will add electrons in 4s orbitals then last electrons will enter in d orbital 3d orbital but in case of ionization reaction first electrons will be removed from s orbitals always and when s electrons are already complete or removed then d orbital electrons will be removed so as we move along the period in 3d series we see that the nuclear charge increases from the scandium to zinc but electrons are added to orbitals of inner subshell that is 3d orbital this 3d electron shields the 4s electron from the increasing nuclear charge somewhat more efficiently than the outer shell electrons can shield the other so that means in uh, in short this point uh, point is trying to suggest that if we have electrons inside the d orbital then they will cover the attraction of nucleus for the outermost electron and that's why outermost electron feels comparatively lower attraction of the nucleus and that's why we can remove them comparatively easily and therefore the atomic radii decreases less rapidly thus ionization energies increases only slightly along the 3d series the doubly or more highly charged ions have d n configuration with uh, no forest electrons that means plus 2 or more than plus 2 charge carrying ions of these 3d metals usually have electrons in d orbitals with zero electrons in 4s orbital or empty 4s orbitals because if they are doubly or more than 2 uh, charge it means first two electrons are already removed from 4s orbital and there is no electron in it a general trend in uh, of increasing the value of second ionization enthalpy is expected as the effective nuclear charge increases because the d orbital electrons not shield other electrons from the influence of nuclear charge because d orbital differs in direction that means if we remove certain electrons from the metal then obviously nuclear charge or number of protons inside the atoms or inside the nucleus remains same and electrons will decrease so overall number of protons per number of electrons are higher 
that means more attraction and that's why removal of next electron becomes more and more difficult and this is the reason why first ionization enthalpies are always lower than second and second are always lower than third for same element However, the trend of steady increase in second and third ionization enthalpies break from the formation of Mn plus 2 and Fe plus 3 respectively. In both of the cases, ions have D5 electronic configuration. Similar breaks occur at the corresponding elements in the later transition series. In short, if you have comparatively stable electronic configuration, then you need to put more amount of energy to make it unstable. Simple thing. Consider it like uh, this way, uh, normal, uh, suppose S represents stable state of element, molecule or ion and U represents unstable state of element, ion or molecules. So, lowest amount of energy is required for unstable to stable transformation. That means if element is unstable and if it is transforming into stable state then it requires least amount of energy or sometimes it can release the energy during this type of transition. Then next step or uh, higher energy value will be either from unstable to unstable transformation or stable to stable transformation. This type of transformation needs comparatively more amount of energy than the first one. And then highest amount of energy is required to convert stable state into unstable state. These type of reactions requires highest amount of energy. If compound or elements are stable and you want unstable state from it, then you have to compulsory, you have to put energy into them so that reaction can occur. So in case of ionization reaction of the D block elements, which type of electronic configurations are stable and which type of electronic configurations are unstable. So, during the transition or removal of electron during the ionization, only one stable state occurs at D5 electronic configuration. That means if you have electronic configuration like this, all the 5 orbitals contains one unpaired electron, then this is the most stable electronic configuration in the transition series. If it is fully filled, then it is not considered in transition series. So, obviously, we are not going to discuss about D10 although D10 is highest stable electronic configuration. But during the removal of electron, we encountered D5 electronic configuration which is comparatively stable electronic configuration. So if you want D5 to D4 type state, that means stable to unstable type of transition. So as discussed, this type of reaction requires highest amount of energy. And at the same time, suppose we have this type of electronic configuration. That means we have D6 electronic configuration and we want D5 electronic configuration from it. So this is unstable state and we want stable state from it. So this type of reaction requires least amount of energy. So if you have D6 to D5 like electronic configuration change, then it will require comparatively less energy than the adjacent other elements. And if you encountered D5 to D4 type uh, changes, then it requires comparatively higher amount of energy. So in this table, as we can see, we have first uh, transition series elements and their uh, enthalpies are mentioned along with it. So if we try to check their electronic configuration, then you will notice the change of electron also affects or uh, arrangement of electron in orbital also affects the value of ionization enthalpies. So always first two electrons will be removed from the S orbitals and then third electron will be removed from the D orbitals. Okay, So keep in mind first two electrons are removing, we are removing it from 4S orbitals. So obviously they are not going to change uh, first ionization enthalpy and second ionization enthalpy much. But if you are talking about the third ionization enthalpies, then d orbital electrons do consider or they will be consumed or they will be the participation inside the reaction. So let us check the change in electronic configuration as mentioned in uh, our topic. So notice the change or difference 
in the series as we can see in this mn plus 3 situation previous was 2990 next it is 2962 but in between this value is higher than expected it is 3260 so why this type of elevation in the energies are observed so same reason because of d5 configuration of mn it is stable and you want unstable out of the stable condition so if we check the electronic configuration of mn as we can see here is its initial electronic configuration 3d5 4s0 when we create m plus ion that means first ionization enthalpy then our electronic configuration is 3d5 4s1 then in case of m plus we have 3d5 electronic configuration so notice here in this case d5 4 s1 2 3 d5 that means m plus 2 m plus 2 electronic change is 3 d5 4 s1 2 3 d5 that means this is unstable situation 4 s1 orbital is unstable whereas 3 d5 is stable so in case of mn when we have mn plus ion and when you get mn plus 2 ion from mn plus it is actually unstable to stable change that means this electronic configuration of mn is unstable but this is stable so because of stable electronic configuration you will notice its second ionization enthalpy is quite lower than the adjacent element if you check the adjacent element then you will notice this is comparatively lower value than the previous and next both of them but at the same time its uh, third ionization enthalpy is comparatively more than their adjacent element if because initial electronic configuration was 3d5 and new is 3d4 so 3d5 is stable whereas 3d4 is unstable so it is stable to unstable change which requires highest amount of energy and that's why its value is increased now same question can be asked for this value why this value is higher than the previous and next element because if you check the electronic configuration you will get the answer chromium and copper 2 are exceptional cases and we are going to discuss it in later portion but right now let's discuss it at, uh, anyway so as you can see in case of chromium it has slightly different type of electronic configuration than other elements each and every other uh, each and every elements except chromium and copper has two electrons in 4s orbital whereas chromium and copper has one one electrons in 4s orbital because they will get stable electronic configuration in 3d orbital if we add only one electron in s orbital that means 3d5 and 3d10 for copper and chromium that's why when they release one electron from s first we are talking about chromium when it releases one electron from the 4s orbital we have stable electronic configuration here that means 3d5 so this is stable configuration whereas 3d4 is unstable configuration so this change is stable to unstable that's why it requires comparatively more amount of energy and that's why this value is higher now same, uh, same thing can be applied for fe if you try to convert fe plus 3 into fe plus 4 then here we have comparatively higher amount of energy and uh, that's why this is stable state and fe plus 4 will get d4 electronic configuration which is unstable state and d6 to d5 electronic change is unstable to stable that's why it requires comparatively lower amount of energy so if you check the values for uh, fe you will notice it is lower in third ionization enthalpy stage because in third ionization enthalpy it is unstable to stable change for fe that's why it requires lower amount of energy so whenever you get stable electronic configuration it requires less amount of energy and if you are carrying out reaction further that means from stable to again unstable stable state then you have to put more amount of energies so the interpretation of variation in ionization enthalpy for electronic configuration dn is as follow the 
three terms responsible for the value of ionization enthalpies are attraction of each electron towards the nucleus, repulsion between the electrons and the exchange en energy. Exchange energy is responsible for the stabilization of energy state. Exchange energy is approximately proportional to the total number of possible pair of parallel spin in, spin in the degenerate orbitals. Now what this point means is when we write these type of arrows for the electrons these signs actually represents spins of electron. If uh, upside arrow represents suppose electron is a spherical then upside arrow represents suppose this type of rotation of the electron then downside arrows represent the opposite rotation. So oppositely spinning two electrons can pair up but they cannot exchange their energies. If uh, one of these electron gets higher energy then because of opposite spin of second electron it cannot transfer its energy or they cannot share energies of each other. But if we have same type of spin in two different electrons then if one electron gets higher energy then it can give some to the adjacent electron. So one type of sharing of energies. It is uh, possible if electrons have same spin. That means if our orbitals contains all the single electrons like this or all the electrons paired up then in this case these electrons can share their energies into each other. That means if one electron absorbs energy then this absorbed energy will be distributed in all of the remaining electrons. And that's why no individual electrons gets excited because they shares energy and equal amount of energy will be distributed if they carry same spin. So this is the reason why D5 electronic is comparatively more stable than the other because in this case electrons can share their energies and because of sharing of energies overall energies of each electron will be lowered and that's why they will be less unstable. So this is exchange of energy and because of same spin they can share. So when several electrons occupies a set of degenerate orbitals the lowest energy state corresponds to the maximum possible extent of single occupation of the orbitals and parallel spin Hund's rule okay. So same thing is mentioned if unpaired electrons have same spin then they can share their energies and if each and every orbital gets at least one electron then pairing will start. That means D5 electronic configuration until the D5 electronic configuration all of the electrons will be unpaired and they will have same spin. The loss of exchange energy increase uh, the stability. As the stability increases the ionization becomes more difficult. There is no loss of the exchange energy at D6 configuration. Mm plus has D5 4s1 configuration and the configuration of Cr plus is D5. Therefore, ionization enthalpy of Mn plus is lower than the Cr plus. In the same way, Fe plus 2 has D6 configuration and Mn plus 2 3D5 configuration. Hence, the ionization enthalpy of Fe plus 2 is lower than the Mn plus 2. In other words, we can say that the third ionization enthalpy of Fe is lower than that of Mn. So, we already discussed these points in the table. Same thing is mentioned in the detail. The lowest common oxidation state of this metal is plus 2 because all of them can release electrons from 4s orbitals and majority of them contains 2 electrons in 4s orbital that's why plus 2 is common. To form m plus 2 ion from the gaseous atoms the sum of the first and second ionization enthalpy is required in addition to the enthalpy of atomization. To get plus 2 ion these three points or these three type of reactions are required first ionization, second ionization and atomization and their enthalpies are also required. The dominant term in the, uh, is the second ionization enthalpy which shows usually high value for Cr and Cu where M plus ions have D5 and D10 in electronic configuration respectively. That means if you check the electronic configuration of chromium and copper then you will notice this is the configuration at zero oxidation state and same for copper this is the configuration at zero this is the configuration at plus one oxidation state for 
both of their limits. You will notice they have D5 and D10 electronic configuration. To obtain plus 2 state, we need to transform stable state into unstable state in both of the cases. Here D10 electronic configuration, configuration is stable and D9 configuration is unstable. So obviously we have to put comparatively high amount of energy to do so. Because stable states requires comparatively more amount of energy to convert themselves into unstable state. And reason is stable state is when energy is lowest and unstable is when energy is higher. So stable state to unstable state conversation that means lower energy to higher energy shifting and th uh, this type of reaction obviously requires energy because we are putting energy into the elements. The value of zinc is correspondingly low as the ionization causes the removal of uh, 1s electrons which results in the formation of stable D10 configuration. The trend in third ionization enthalpies is not complicated by the 4s orbital factor and shows the greater difficulty of removal an electron from D5 and D10 ions. In general, the third ionization enthalpies are quite high. Also, the high value of third ionization enthalpies of copper, nickel and zinc indicates why it is difficult to obtain oxidation state greater than two of these elements. Okay, so obviously stable electronic configurations are extremely hard to make unstable. Although ionization enthalpies give some guidance concerning the relative stability of oxidation states, this problem is very complex and not amenable to ready generalization. So in short, this ionization enthalpies values actually depends on electronic configuration. Stable electronic configurations are usually easy to get but hard to remove. So unstable to stable states have comparatively lower value of ionization and uh, energies than the adjacent elements and stable to unstable state conversation requires much more amount of energy that's why whenever d5 type of electronic configuration occurs then it is hard easy to get but hard to move on so d5 type of electronic configuration can be obtained easily but then later it is hard to remove or hard to remove one more electron from D5 type of electronic configurations. Hope you find this information in, 